Okay, so uh, Sunday, 17 of February on 2019 is the seventh time that we are doing uh, uh, this cacchiere exercise here at Polis. This year, Adid is our uh, is our uh, theme. All the all the all, all the students have done uh, the, a critical reconstruction of a building to show the variation possible about that. Everything is in the website, so you can look at Adid Sergio Polis to discover everything about that. Are with us uh, Professor Lori, uh, Loris Rossi and Professor Laura Pedata as guests. Uh, they are all time friends uh, of us and teacher here. Dean Professor uh, Bregasi and uh, uh, Professor uh, Valerio Perna. They are joining the, 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 the whole experience as uh, collaborator of this experience. So we start from uh, uh, this group. Prego. And that is their, their presentation. The theme is about the Saragoza inhabited bridge. And you, if you want, you can say mm, your name also. Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, we decided to, uh, to design uh, and, and to understand more the structure of this bridge, Saragoza Bridge Pavilion. I am Franz. I'm there. Area. And uh, starting from uh, yesterday, uh, when we chose to to understand and to develop more the organization of uh, this bridge. Uh, we're starting uh, understanding how does uh, the system of uh, the bridge uh, works. Uh, basically, this is a very complex uh, structure. And uh, practically, this has been costed uh, 70 million euros. And it was designed from 2005 until 2008. Okay. And uh, now that we go uh, inside uh, the, main, uh, yes. the main bridge, we can say that um, the shape of, of, of the building, it's, uh, it's fluid shape, it's more like an organic shape. Yes. Maybe this comes uh, as an idea that is connecting two sides of the river. Okay. And uh, it looks also <coughs> like a uh, sea animal. Yeah. Uh, which is uh, turning and it which, which is changing uh, okay. the shape in different moments. Yes. Uh, the main uh, the main structure looks uh, it's a tri triangular uh, structure of uh, of uh, the trusses of the system. Let's try to understand the basic elements as okay. we call okay. it. Okay. okay. Let's follow that okay. process. Okay. So we divided the elements in f uh, the, uh, the in four ma uh, main uh, elements. Mm -hmm. This element that you see here it's uh, uh, the I would say the the, the supporting the supporting the cassoni, that the is, is divided actually in three parts, in right? Which is divided in three parts. So um, we can see that in in in, in section in on the on yeah. this base here it is. So this is what we may call the cassoni, and this is uh, a, a branch of three things that mm -hmm. in some cases become three, then in, can become in, one. In can mm -hmm. become one, yes. And basically, it's done in a triangular way. Yeah. Um, so this is uh, that is number one. The number one. Then the number two are uh, these uh, elements. Exactly. These elements are major arches. Major, major arches that are from in, from from uh, from some of them, and then a, a very long beam, yeah. a long beam that connects the main arches. The main arches, and also you have some functional uh, purpose for, for some functional purpose. You have uh, the, the, the 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 how do you say it? Yes, it is this floor. Let's the floor, yeah. this floor. The floor okay. when uh, we are happening some activities. Yes. So uh, later on, to, to understand more how the, the structure works, we exploded in a way the structure yes. and we created uh, this. That this is the actual critical model, one portion of this it. This element, and imagine this is underground. Uh, this mm -hmm. area over here, and on the upper part, it's uh, where yeah. everything is happening. So these are the main structural uh, elements. This is the translation of this. Of this. Yeah. Uh, so you can see this is a heavier element than uh, compared to this, yes. these other elements. And here you have the representation of the trusses. So and then from the main one, here are trusses that fill the trusses that are basically supported also by this, by this element on top. 
And then, so there is a repetition of chassis, what we see and, uh, in the image. And if, if we want to, to have a variation, we can... No, uh, unless there is an, one yeah. element that I is missing, it's so are the hanged floor. The hanged floor, yeah. So from this element, you can have hanged floor, and that you can see in section mm -hmm. that creates what is really this inhabited bridge. So it's done in this way, but the whole idea is that that is a completely inhabited bridge. So that means it's, an, it's a, almost like a building that connects the two, uh, the two parts. And what else important we can say? <coughs> we can see some images here. What else important we can say? What else? So we can say the importance of the facade. Also, yeah, yes. which uh, it's folding in some parts, exactly. and you can see it uh, over here. So it gives an idea of uh, of, of uh, the visual depth of the of the structure. When you can see all the elements, how they are connected, they are divided here, and they are connected uh, with different texture. Yeah. So there are basically there are few folds with different patterns, and that we create an image of more folding that you can see here but basically are few folds. So at the end, it, it is a very uh, logical and iman imaginative way to, 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 to do an inhabited bridge. And this is the, and this the is section. And this is the key section. And it is clear. So here we see what we may call the Cassoni, but this is not a, a linear extrusion. It changes because they have three different branches. So this section changes in the process. And then here we see the major beam, this one, is there to yeah. these major beams there are these arches that are continuous and here we can see only one hanged floor in other cases there are more than one okay okay so now they are structural engineer the three of them we are i'm no. an architect actually, ah, okay but, but we are studying we are studying structural engineer so it, it is clearly that this project has in an inherent uh, parametric uh, aspect, so it's, it is clearly the change in the condition and changing the dimension. You can use the same concept and make uh, and, uh, variations of it. I would it like to, to add also yes. that this structure can work also uh, horizontally, but imagine to, to work somehow vertically in a way. So this, uh, these parts of the building, they can, they can move and they can uh, create uh, different uh, different views and different <coughs> special qualities of the exterior facade and the interior. So if you move everything, or it, imagine if it could be something like this, which is elevating and it is, it is going uh, hmm. on the another level, let's say. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's see this other group. Abu Dhabi Bridge, who are the two people? Okay. Uh, my name is Marina. My name is Felbit. Good. So we started the Abu Dhabi Bridge. This is the main model yeah. of Abu Dhabi Bridge. Uh, and based on the main model, we tried to... No, no, let's, uh, let's express uh, okay. a, a little bit of the main model, what it is. Uh, the main model of the Abu Dhabi Bridge consists in uh, <coughs> steel arches, that are this one and this one. And uh, the base is the <coughs> concrete uh, base concrete piers, uh, the, the steel arches are connected with each other and they help uh, the road to they, they maintain the they support, the, they support so the basically the element are these big things that are the yes. cavalletti on both sides that of course they, they will help the connection to the ground and they start to, to help one point and then what is particular of this that this is not one arch that is separated, but is it's a kind of a silhouette yes. that makes like that. It's a second element. And the third element, of course, are the stralli, uh, that are these uh, elements to which, uh, to, to which uh, uh, the, uh, the impalcato is hanged. So now that you have understood the, the basic system, what you can do is pretty easy. So we try to work on different variations, variations. Of it. So, so the, the shape of the, the cavalletti of course can be different yeah. yes we, we made a different uh, angle of uh, the concrete base as you can see uh, here this is the hmm. change the, this that arch is, uh, we thought that uh, it will cross uh, from uh, that angle to, to that and then to connect uh, in the middle 
with uh, uh, with a steel pillar that goes to the ground. Mm, 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 mm. All right, and that, and this. Uh, so this is the. We try to uh, compare the shape of, of the, the arches. Yeah. Um, you see what I what I why I made mm, 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 about all here because basically there is some some in rule in a parametric design that you cannot break a certain level rules. So why we understand that we can make probably this is pretty logical and can change the shape of this. This is goes at a completely different uh, level of variation. So it really breaks one of the DNA of the project. So I don't think that that is a compatible uh, change of, of, of the thing. But it's, uh, it's OK. It's important also to, to put this up. Thank you very much. OK, Maxi Roma. Tell your name, guys. Uh, I'm Rad. I'm Gidis. OK. Uh, so the Maxi Museum is the Museum of uh, Arts of the 21st yes. Century, holding it. Uh, the shape of uh, the museum is that it, uh, it uh, provides a, a shape that uh, it can be of movement and not interrupted by walls. So it's a fluid uh, movement. Yeah, do it with here. It's a mess. We don't understand yeah. anything. Uh, so uh, we see that uh, these are these rails that uh, Zaha did as well to make the museum. These are not interrupted and are this is horrible. This is horrible. You do it. Do it. Okay. This is uh, just horrible. Uh, Nobody understands anything. You have to do it in sequence. Yes. So we see the elements which uh, are. Put, okay. Uh, so one why one this? One. Because Adid believes very much in this. Uh, fluid connection that is a connection inside and outside the museum. So what they have done, they basically have been working only uh, on the beam uh, uh, and trusses system. So they decided to focus only on that. So it's already a physical tra uh, 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 translation of uh, those lines that we saw in other schemes are just lines. They work with that. And then, of course, there are also uh, two parts of the building which were in the original project but uh, were never built. OK. And uh, where, where are they? Uh, these are positioned uh, about here. Okay. But they are not uh, really connected. OK. So basically, the with this system, the idea is that they can build their own knowing this. Mm. So yes. use uh, those lines like, uh, uh, like a process. You have already something in mind? Or? Uh, no, not really. It's just uh, uh, we can always start from a point and follow the logic that it starts uh, from a uh, certain point and these lines go uh, like maybe So you can modify the easily the thing. Yes, so we can change the direction of this, the frequency mm. of uh, okay. these uh, bars of these. Uh, and with uh, that going with different curvature and different ideas. Yes, so it can be uh, actually any shape uh, depending on uh, the concept, uh, okay. on the context really. Then would be another marker how you will support these things in height. Mm -hmm. In, 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 in Zadi, the case of the Maxi, they, they have done a bearing wall, bearing wall uh, or concrete bearing wall all along it. That is a choice. Other possibility can be done. But in Maxi, they did with bearing walls. But other possibility can be done. OK. Allora, here, what do we have? Say silent, please. Say silent, please. Say silent, please. OK. My name is Viola. We have uh, a Fragola station. We have a building which is designed that function with the function to a train station. Okay. This is a main model which is designed uh, and. Uh, so it's a bridge, basically, station, right? Yeah. And yes, different point of a. Of and connect with people, connect with zone the zones A to. Uh, we have here we have a rail railway. Yes. And our idea is uh, to to expand and remodel this uh, object to the other form, which is can be this <coughs> or connect more more points to oh one side to yeah. other side. OK, so to add another layer, you are thinking in some way compatible, but in other directions. OK, very well. OK, let's move on. 
What is this group? Uh, uh, aspetta, let me give a rise. So, this is the Cincinnati Rosenthal Center. Rosenthal Center in Cincinnati, yeah. I'm Edward. Yeah. Where am I? Where am I? Yes. So, uh, we were starting about this building of uh, Zahadid, and uh, so uh, the main concepts of these buildings are, um, first of all, she, uh, this building is, uh, is placed in a very busy corner of the city. That's why she decided for the ground floor to, to, to leave it all floating on the air, uh, open, so the pedestrians can, can pass from the uh, pavements and can go inside, they can go outside without any barriers. And um, this, uh, this flow, uh, this energetic flow, she decided to, to transmit, uh, to, to insert it even inside the building, so we can see it, uh, first of all, on the so this flow is represented by this black uh, Yeah, uh, so the pavement, the pavement goes uh, from, uh, from the ground floor, it goes up okay. like a wall of this building. And um, uh, we can see it on the other, on the other uh, elements, like uh, the, uh, we made the section, yeah. uh, outline of the, of the section. And you can see that from the ground floor, all the uh, visitors can go um, up uh, to the building through these uh, uh, stairs, ramps that connects these uh, boxes that have different uh, sizes and different materials. Okay. Uh, actually, she's using all the three materials: uh, concrete, uh, glass, and and black black material. But uh, and the size and the material of the, these boxes uh, uh, changes. Uh, depending on what, what gallery, what type of gallery it has inside. Okay, so what are the variations of this? The variation is uh, if we um, make this section. So the section uh, yeah. can vary. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is very if, interesting if because you start to think that varies the box sliding. Instead, in, in, in this case, it's very interesting that what you may really think that vary is the section, is this line of the section, is the line of the section that in some way is the key translation point between inside and outside. So it's basically what is discovered that really as a method is not the sliding of the thing that is what you think at the beginning, but is really is this inside line that is the inside line that determines the section as a different possibility to always have the same idea that is basically the whole height of, of it, but in different forms. And then it is actually this the changing of this, uh, of this that determine the different uh, uh, boxes. Correct? Yeah. Yes. This is basically we, we found It's not a void for us anymore. It's well the, the concepts. OK. So here we can see the flow of the road. Yeah. And the lines. This is not something that you've done, no, that you found no, it. Okay. Found and it. They, they, they say the same thing of this or not? Yeah, it's saying the same thing and it explains very well with the graphics. Okay. Uh, we are, okay, so then we can see this. Uh, uh, now, what you've done in Grasshopper is, yes. uh, is interesting. Let's so see. So we thought, like, uh, as we know, uh, Za did works uh, every, every building of her. Uh, is based on the parametrics, so uh, we thought, why what, don't we think a little more? Okay. We we try to make a script. Uh, okay, let's see the uh, let's see the, the results of this. Here we can see the pavement how it goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, fine. But it's, it's nicer that we do it in our <laughs> own world in a way that is this. Okay, good. Now let's see the 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 okay. the, the other. So this is the script in Grasshopper. Yes. Uh, the idea is that uh, we were focused mainly in the uh, surfaces, in the areas of every each program, and then that these uh, surfaces can change uh, um, the, shape. Uh, the shape in variation with their uh, width or, for example, like this, and they can get another. Okay. So we decided the, the density of every box. So if we know that uh, this kind of gallery uh, 
must have this density. Yeah. Uh, with the density, uh, if we change only one dimension of the box, it uh -huh. automatically changes the shape of the box. And okay. Uh, everything is connected with the others. Yeah, so it's wrong. No. Yes. yes right. Because the two things are completely different. So why uh, we, we which, uh, the fact know. that you are using grasshopper or any type of tool does not mean per se that this is, is logical. So this is a first try, fantastic. Yes. It's a first try, but it's understood that this is not relevant. What is relevant is exactly. this other concept. Yeah. So the gra let me think. Okay. So the grasshopper should be done differently, completely differently. This is completely irrelevant. I love that you know grasshopper, but conceptually is irrelevant. So what you should be done is exactly what has been said before. So that means that you have to do the, the structure of the section. Yeah, but the density, we can use it even for the main hall, so for the space between the galleries. So if we decide... How can I, ch I change this there? How I can? Where is yes, that element? we have to work a little bit. Uh, it's not there, but so it's wrong. I mean the... No, 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 we don't have that. of the space and the density is the same, so if you use the density... Yes, but in the gas opera, in, in five, five seconds, we didn't want it to have that. We want it to have that. We want it to have the section parametrically studied so we can change it and consequently to change the box. But it's normal. The first try, the second try, since we are, you have been very lucky to have a clear criticism you can draw. You are lucky guys. Thank you. Okay, good. Now, this one. Groningen. Who are you guys? You want to do it in Albanian? It's better to do it in Albanian? You prefer to do it in Albanian? Okay. Okay, go. Go quickly. In whatever language you want. Our project is the small pavilion. Yes. Uh, designed by Zaha Hadid. The main component of uh, this pavilion is uh, the structure. There is the structure, that uh, is one, that is the grid. Uh, that uh, is combined with, uh, that is merged with, the structure is merged with uh, different shapes that, uh, that create the create a, a, a design. Yeah, what is interesting in this case is basically that there is the, the structure is, like the grid is the number one element, already does not start it, uh, a square, it started like that, and then she plays in different ways, in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the three different ways. So in this case, there are boxes, you don't have any boxes even with, uh, okay. But we know that there are boxes, colored boxes that are there. Instead, in this, in this case, in this other case, there is a completely different uh, way. Actually, this is solid and only in one little part. Uh, the thing emerged, doesn't matter. So there, there is an approach to this. This is the first time for them to approach a syntax uh, thing. So this is instead is what? This is BMW Center Building in yes. Germany. And we are Laura, Veronica, Martina. Okay. So the, this building is the actual production plant, but the part particularity is that uh, the uh, phases of production can be seen as a narrative uh, by the people that are working uh, downstairs. So for us, the important part of this building is the movements between three different blocks that is uh, embodied in this kind of structure, serpentine structure. If you want to see how this happened, you come here and you see that uh, there are two particular buildings where uh, some production beds start to flow. And here you can see those actual cars as a narrative. These movements, uh, we thought that could be uh, expanded uh, in different direction, as in the Piranesi pictures you showed us. And you can see that if we manage to link with belts different uh, buildings in different uh, um, dimensions, you can have uh, a cluster with a lot of movements. And then what we see here? Here is the singular module that allow you to start movements between buildings. So this is the BMW block, <coughs> and uh, you can start to have uh, other kind of belts that links different buildings with different length, but also in high and in diagonal. So, so this is a, a further step, while in, in, in Zadid the, the, the connection is basically horizontal. They started to think, okay, why not 
to use this element only in vertical, so it can be also production belt or whatever, but can be elevator or other elements, and also probably in, in the more Pyrenean way, probably we can have also diagonal in, 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 in dimension. The whole thing is that all these, uh, basically, the, the basic idea are some type of production line. So they are not only physical, but they should transport, should be movable in one way or the other. That is a particular characteristic uh, of that. Okay? Thank you. Very Thank good. You. Okay. Uh, okay, let's, let's try to be only, only on players. Okay, go ahead. Uh, we are an cultural center of a group. Uh, yeah. Joanna, Ilaria, Nicola, Leonardo. Okay. Uh, Zahadid presented this project in Baku, and what we feel, just giving a glance to this project, is that this is not only an architectural project, but even a landscape project, because it comes from the ground, and Ilari can mm -hmm. show it. So if uh, this is the ground, the building, it's a part of it, and it's a part of the, of the ground itself. So uh, you can say that the building, it's a ground, it's a part of the landscape, as you can see, the same material. That's why we decide to simplify and to use only one element to represent all our strategies and the basis project, then the variations, using only the roof. One material. One material. Yes. So we see only the shelter, only the main skin covering many functions in the project. And using just one skin, uh, linking it to parametric design, we have the plane and its points pre presented in our project through the crocs and the pins. Yes, so all the two elements, the sheet of uh, the, um, the cork and the pins. Uh, so here are two try and variations, uh, but using uh, three dimensional curves. While um, in the basis project from the beginning, we are almost two curves. Um, this allows us to have uh, um, a strong uh, structure. So it's, it's yeah, two yeah, direction core. This is based on two direction okay. core, so it never bent on the other I side. I can say yes. something uh, yes, in please. the structural yes. aspect. According to the structural aspect, we have tried to use these shapes with two or three curves to create statically strong structures. They are not two or three curves, are two three or three directions. Yes, yeah, the direction the, the, of yeah, these that curves is the key. to create statically strong structures yeah. and with a good stability okay. for these uh, big spaces. And according to this, we can use very usefully this. Yes, what you discovered in the process was very uh, interesting. Uh, what happened if you move mm -hmm. it in three directions? Yes. We, mm, we want to stress the fact that uh, we mm, try to take advantage of the feature of the material we choose to, um, uh, to represent this building. And we try to, um, to use the weakness of the sheet of the cork. And while it breaks, mm -hmm it could be used to, uh, as, a, as an opportunity in bending. order to have uh, uh, light and uh, windows and openings. Basically, the idea is that when, when you twist it in the third di direction, the material breaks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The material breaks. We can use so this. that port, pa, part of that the material breaks, we, you, you, you go with that idea that actually it becomes a break. Mm -hmm. yes. It actually becomes a break. So and that will take advantage of the fact yeah. that uh, break. So using the material, you understand the, 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 the weak point. The weak point will break are the, the point where you put this continuity. Mm -hmm. So it's a very interesting and way to use, uh, to use, use, uh, yeah. to use this, this cause. Natural lighting. Yes. Thinking about it, we go back to the project and see that in this area, we see something similar to what we discovered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this happened naturally. Naturally, because okay. of the material. Very well. Facciamo una pausa così finiamo l'imperatorio. Thank you everybody. Thank you. Thank you.